Today's harsh economy is finding many business owners being forced to throw in the towel. One man, however, actually came out of retirement to help save the company that he spent nearly 50 years building. At age 79, Albert Boskoff should be playing golf or spending time with his grandkids. Right now, white dinner wears in. Some people yeah, think it's foolish, sure. you know, in the sense that why do I want to do this at this age? Boskoff retired four years ago and left the company under new ownership. This led to overexpansion that ultimately caused the chain to spiral into Chapter 11 bankruptcy. We had 9,000 co-workers. I think many of them would be out of a job. Certainly the 600 that I knew very well and knew were very important would probably not have a job. Boskov and his partner Edward Lakin were able to raise $300 million to buy back the company in early December, an arguably remarkable feat in today's economy. But they didn't do it alone. Well, the family was willing to put in, and a few friends, almost $50 million. We're independent, we're out of Chapter 11, and we have a well-funded department store that has every reason to succeed. This accomplishment comes as a surprise, as many notable businesses are being forced to downsize. The Home Depot is cutting 7,000 jobs and closing 34 of its stores. Caterpillar is preparing for one of its worst decades in history by cutting 20,000 jobs. And still other companies like Circuit City have been forced to close their doors altogether. It's tough. Although there's money out there, it's kind of locked up. And so getting a restructuring plan together it's almost impossible. With such a high risk for failure, why would Boscoff yeah. willingly jump back into a struggling market? Hey, I like your display. Oh, thanks. It looks nice. His interest isn't in the money. He'd be better off not coming back. He's investing his own money, but more than that, he's investing his life in rebuilding something that was important to him. That sends a very loud signal to his customers. I tell you, if you're going to run something, you better care about your people. Because if you don't care about them, they're not going to care about you. Wonderful seeing you. How you doing? Answering my mail, I felt I owed it to these people to answer each one individually. I did. It was nice to see that they really wanted us to be here. They didn't want to see empty stores. Hopefully we'll live up to their expectations. Boskov's close relationship with his employees, his customers, and the community are arguably some of the trade secrets that helped to pull his business out of bankruptcy. Of course, the reality is that it's still a business. Oh, tomorrow's my last day. You're kidding. Yeah, I'm really upset. <laughs> I'm here 20 years in December. I had four days off. I just came in today and found out. And, uh, I mean, I like working here. I, you know, I really enjoy coming in. But... I think the fact that we're in a recession makes it more difficult. We'll be going to February. It's a tougher month. But the December, January, which will be our financial year this year, will be profitable and then we have to prove that in a recession that we can run a successful store for 12 months rather than two months. We uh, did cut our expenses then and we're continuing to cut them now so that we uh, can survive. Boscovs has closed nearly 10 of its stores, proving that no company is totally safe in this economy. Still, Boscov is hopeful. We're going to win. The question still remains, will Boscov's celebrated return be enough to keep the chain afloat? or will its doors finally be forced to close for good.